The new Traffic Amendment Act of 2022, sponsored by Tiati MP William Kamket and signed into law by President Uru Kenyatta on the 21st of June this year, is an improvement to the parent law that was declared unconstitutional by the Court of Appeal in 2017. In the 2017 decision that came as freedom to most Kenyans, the three-judge bench of Justices G.B.M. Kariuki, Fatuma Sichale and Festus Azangalala maintained that the law then was badly drafted and therefore ought to be reviewed by Parliament. Under the new Traffic Act Amendment of 2021, the offence of drunk driving is narrowed down to any person who, when driving or attempting to drive, or in charge of a motor vehicle on a road or other public place is under the influence of an alcoholic drink or a drug test beyond the prescribed limits shall be guilty of an offence. The Act states that alcohol is to be used as an objective test to provide measurable applications for the prescribed limit. Those found drunk driving risk a fine of not exceeding 100,000 Kenna shillings or a jail term of not more than two years or both. 0 0.5. That's not much. <laughs> blow tests will be conducted by National Transport and Safety Authority and Traffic Police. Under the law, drivers should not handle vehicles if they have consumed alcohol in excess of 35 micrograms in 100 millimeters of breath, 80 milligrams of alcohol in 100 millimeters of blood, and 107 milligrams of alcohol in 100 millimeters of urine. Matatu drivers and operators, however, are not required to consume alcohol and their levels should remain at zero. Kenyans are now likely to be treated to the drama that comes with alcohol roadblocks, which normally sees drunk drivers engage on a cat and mouse game with NTSA officials. Before the court judgment in 2017, the alcohol law had been in force for more than three years following its introduction in 2014.